So construction law is a broad yet specialized area of the law that effectively involves anything related to the construction and infrastructure industry. Over time, these general areas have developed more specific rules and protocols, and we specialize in those rules and protocols as it relates to this industry. So construction lawyers provide highly specialized advice within the broader construction and infrastructure industry in order to assist clients with their issues. We familiarize ourselves with the various protocols and procedures and how a construction project evolves from tendering all the way to its conclusion. We're better able to understand legal risks um, and to mitigate and allocate those risks. This is obviously a fiction. So construction projects are the epitomes of risk. And so there are any number of construction related parties that might enter into contracts for which there are an array of contracts for each construction project. And so contract is the best method, the instrument for allocating risk. Clients can certainly reach out and retain a construction lawyer at any point in the project. So it really is fiction that construction lawyers only come into play at the end of a project. So this is definitely fiction. Construction lawyers deal with disputes, uh, but for some reason there's a misconception that those disputes really relate to lien claims. So when we deal with disputes from small to very large, so really it's it's endless, the, the types of disputes that we deal with. Again, we are equipped to understand those issues more because we understand the construction project evolution. The disputes might take place in a court, mediations, arbitrations, adjudications, we can handle all of it because there's also an evolved body of law dealing with how these disputes are uh, dealt with. For example, uh, Ontario's Construction Act, we have adjudication now. It has certain timelines, protocols. We're familiar with these protocols. I think the first takeaway is that clients need to be proactive as opposed to reactive so that we can implement steps and measures to ensure that issues remain small and don't become otherwise unmanageable or larger than they need to be. At the end of the day, uh, we want to be your trusted advisors, part of your team to bring this specific lens to help you make the best business decisions as you progress through a construction project.